Okay. Let's go to Matthew chapter 5, verse 7. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall, huh? For they shall obtain mercy. Okay. So if I am showing mercy to someone, I believe what this is saying, mercy will be shown unto me, huh? Okay. How can I cry out to God? I guess in essence, asking him for mercy. God, my car is messed up. God, for an example, which I am not saying these things are true about me. God, my car is messed up. God, my children are acting up. God, uh, my health is not so great. God, I want a job. God, I am so hungry, I need food. God, I want some socks and underwear. God, huh? God, I need my hair done. How can I cry out to God so much? In essence, I guess I can say asking for mercy, but when a person comes to me asking me for help, no. Well, can you help me clean my garage? No. Can you help me bake some food? No. While I am sitting home watching YouTube for six hours and have so much free time, but not really willing to sacrifice for others. Man, how can I ask for mercy, but am not willing to show mercy? I may be wrong about this, but I believe God does and purposely send people our way I am telling you, I believe he purposely does that to see what we are going to do. Man, I am telling you, while you are over there asking God for so much, I believe he purposely sends people your way to see if you are willing to show them mercy. Man, isn't this Matthew 5 and 7? In essence, isn't this saying you reap what you sow? Man, oh. If I am willing to be selfish, if I am willing to be all about me and what I like and what I want to do and not really willing to help others or to sacrifice for others, what am I going to sow? I mean, what am I going to reap? If I am sowing selfishness, perhaps bitterness, narcissism and stuff like that. What am I going to reap? If you are asking God for much, and even if you aren't, I believe one day you will need someone to show you mercy. If you aren't willing to show mercy to others, I believe there is going to be a day 
where you may wish that you treated people better. Aren't there bad things happening in your life now? Is it possible those bad things are happening to you because of how you are? Myself, everyone, there are some people who don't really treat me really well. So a person may say, since they aren't treating you in the way you expect, you should treat them in the same way. No, no. Why will, why would I do that when I will what? Reap what I sow. If someone is being evil to me, okay, I can pray for that person, right? But if I choose to do evil to that person, what is going to happen to me? I am going to reap on that, right? I believe so. Doing wrong because you have been wronged is wrong. And I believe you will receive from that. I have issues as in problems. I have problems. Why should I add to it if I don't like the problems I have now? Come on now. Why suffer more than what you have to? Why go through more pain than what you have to, what you may have to? I believe we all have to go through pain. Right? I believe in the past. Man, I believe in the past I did so much wrong. So much wrong. And I believe because of it, I went through so much bad times. Just bad way of thinking, bitterness, hatred, anger, ah, oh, unforgiveness. I did so much wrong. I regret it. Hopefully, none of that stuff is part of me now. Hopefully, I am free of that stuff. Okay. Let me stop here. God bless you.